Hello everyone, this is Chaos again, and I am going to be casting another game we got sent in by our fan by Brockside, who is in the bottom left playing Protoss, against Lucius, I think that's how you say it, in the bottom right playing Terran. We. <laughs> I love that. Oh, a bit of conversation going on early game, because that's all I can talk about right now. I mean, look at that production. Yes, look at that. A pro with an SCV, the pro is slightly faster than the SCV. So this should be fun. Pylon going down, nine pylon, good, good. And um, probably be seeing a supply depot around about now. That's probably it. What the? Did he think his ramp was there? Oh well. Is he? I think oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, oh. it's a sneeze. I'm about. Oh, never mind. I'll comment on my sneeze. That's about the only thing I can go on at this point, just some early scouting going on. He's actually just put a waypoint at every base. Oh, the sneeze is back. But it's not, no, it's, it's not, it's not going to actually happen. Unfortunately, the Terran getting lucky with the scouting, the first base he went to, and where Brockside is a long wait to wait. Long wait to wait. That didn't make much sense. It's a long um, time to wait to scout out the Terran. Follow the SCV! See, I don't... It's the problem with this game is people just set it at waypoint at scout. They don't actually pay any attention. He sees he's down there, but has it on waypoint, so it doesn't realise until ages. So he went in there. What did he actually see when he went in there? Okay, well, now I'm in this base. He saw a gateway going up on a pylon. He didn't scan his mineral line or anything. Didn't see if he was getting the early gas, which he has done. Oh, God. So... Yes, well, that's a very bad play by him. Uh, walling off there, three racks going down. Just general walling. You don't really have to do it against Protoss, but a walling's always good. Mainly for early Zergling rushes. And he's left his base wide open, right there. Well, my rock side just sneaking a probe. And the supply deeper going down. Got Siren X core coming up by rock side, and there's out. As well as second gas coming out. And the Terran is yet to get any gas. A Vox size probe, just admiring the base there. Yeah, very good craftsmanship. Got a pion going up down there. Might be trying to place some buildings. Hopefully the Terran won't scout if he ever comes back in. Warp gate coming out. You should probably be seeing a stalker coming out of that warp gate soon. Once he has the minerals. There we go. Stalker going out. You got mainly pushing out marines by the looks of it. No tech lab yet, but that's probably because he still doesn't have any gas. So unless he's just going to pump out mass marines from all of his barracks, which by the looks of it he is doing. No stim pack, no marine shields. He's just ignoring gas. No supply depot coming up. And he's pushing with four marines and is about to meet the wrath of a probe. There goes the probe. The probe did not win that battle. Well, on the bright side, Robox side now should probably see the incoming force, and he's getting down some four gateways. Which is very nice, very nice. And get warp gate being chrono boosted out. The marine army on its way. These three racks of rushing with marines. Robox side won't win this unless he can pump out some units. Or yeah, that that's perfect. Getting a sentry out to put a force field on that um, ramp will completely lock down any chance of the marines pushing anywhere near his base. I wonder if the guy realises how he easily he could win this battle if he just had any sense. He's really beginning a four there we go, four steel placement there, beautiful. Warp gate nearly up. Once that is up, the game will very swiftly turn into my Broxide's favour. Because I don't No, oh, no, he's actually got gas out now, unfortunately only one SCV mining each. Still no tech labs of any sort. Oh, here we go, he's pushing up. He has got warp gate though, yep, yeah, there we go, we can see the morph going on with three out of four of them. Once that's up, this should be turned into his favour. Oh, here we go. That was a very bad placement there, really, by the Broxide. He really should have um, placed them further behind so that they wouldn't be um, shot down by Marines straight away. And here we go, we got more coming out now. Taking out the pylons, which is always a good idea. Fortunately for him, the Broxide actually has centered his pyre and his buildings by more than one pylon. And he should really be pushing out Stalkers to take out the range of the um, Marines. 
Never mind. Two of his gateways now down. Only two of his zealots actually attacking. Another pylon going back up there to replace the one he does. Those six zealots will easily be able to take care of the marines, and that's why they're running away. He knows he can't beat them. No, he's turning back again. Vobroxar really needs to push him out of his base nice and properly with this. There we go, Vobroxar no longer supply block. Should hopefully get out some stalkers soon in order to take out the marines. The stalkers will definitely help. Focusing on just marines really isn't going to do the job here. There we go, some stalkers coming out now. This is very easy now in Vibroxide's favour. Just got to push him out of his base right now. All he's doing is throwing marines at him. He is literally just queuing up marines and throwing them at him. He's, even, he's got 170 to gas now. He's not even pushing out any tech labs of any sort. He's now supply blocked as well. This just isn't going well. He's just amassing forces here while Vibroxide has enough chance to get some stalkers, get some zealots and push him out of his base. He probably should have waited until he had a bit of a big air army than that, but oh well. Pushing out, oh yes, sentries will definitely help. More stalkers coming out as well. Well, once again, all we're seeing is more and more marines coming in from the other guy. Sending in a scout, he'll see the massive stalker army. Nah, that did nothing. And, um, I can't imagine this game's going to last much longer at this rate. All the terror is just, I mean, look, he's got 1,200 minerals, he's not, um, what is it called? Transitioning into anything else other than just a massive marines. He just built four supply depots at once to just keep pushing out those marines. Like, there's no frickin' tomorrow, which there isn't at this rate. And here we go, we see an engagement. Very easily taken out there. The stalkers will easily be able to chew through them. I even should probably even put a guardian shield, but that actually helps. Yeah, but he doesn't even need to do that. Darren now realising how screwed he is and running for his life. I think Rockside's gone to go check the towers. Completely missed those marines down there. Oh, he just saw the edge of one. But he seems to be ignoring it. Never mind. Oh. Those marines are just going to slowly die. He expanded when he was being attacked. Oh, he put the supply depot up. That's going to save him from his stalker army. There goes an expansion. I know I've been sure if he cancelled that. It was too fast for me to be able to tell. But by Rockside's very easily got this in bag. He just needs to push it up. All he's got to defend himself is Marines. Easily going to be eaten through by the Stalker army. And the Ron Random, the heroic sentry there taking the kills. He should really be, there we go, just annihilating them. Put the barracks down. Once again, all he's doing is pushing out more Marines. He's got a very, very, oh my god. This is a bit of a late to be pushing out three more barracks and two factories. And those SCVs are not going to get out alive. Especially not when he's practically just ran them into his stalkers. And look more on the way. Oh, and GG from Lucius. And there we have it. <laughs> very interesting play by the Terran there. With some very interesting timings to get two factory and three rack cells. Anyway, uh, thank you Vibroxide for sending this in. If you have any other replays, I'll leave the email below for anyone who wants to send us them. He's had an SCV left, he's going to easily board us off. Anyway, yes, I'll see you next time.